Hello, Elizabeth Bolon. Hello, Rasa Shlernadine. What are we doing here? What are you doing, actually? I am uh, cooking. Okay. So I have boiled the potatoes that I harvested from our potato patch. You can see some are white, some are yellow. Mm -hmm. It's two different kinds of potatoes. Mm -hmm. They're in very small pieces because there was a lot of slugs that had enjoyed parts of the potatoes. Mm -hmm. So they required a lot of preparation. Mm -hmm. Here there is a jam made mm -hmm. mainly with plum, but a little bit of apple mm -hmm. mixed in. That's basically done. It just needs to be mashed a bit. And we harvested the plums from uh, Eva and Gudrun's. Uh, exactly. They fruit. had so many plums. It's a real plum year. And so. actually the apples we harvested from uh, Sven Alf and Anna Maria's. Yeah, and fruits. some also from uh, Gudrun and Eva's actually. Okay. It's okay. a real apple year today too. Okay. This year too. So nice. many apples, so many plums. And, and now here? I'm going to fry up the chanterelles, mm -hmm. so I'm going to keep it simple and just do one shallot, the chanterelles, and uh, salt and pepper, basically that's it. Mm -hmm. Cream would have been nice, but we don't have cream And I guess you're sautéing with a bit of butter on an iron yeah, skillet? Yeah, it's going to be a cast iron skillet and butter, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I'm going to do moose meatballs that yeah. we got from Ika, ready-made ones. Moose so this meatballs. will go good. Yeah, so this goes really well with uh, game meat. Mm -hmm. And then we have a little bit of um, these uh, lingon berries too. Mm -hmm. that, so these are harvested from our driveway yep. in our farm. Yep. And these I'm just going to do raw with some sugar. And you just kind of make a kind of a jam-like thing mm -hmm. with it. They're not super ripe, but I think mm -hmm. they should be fine. Mm -hmm. And yep. I guess we That's are, plan. We are um, hydrating some of the yellow peas for making dal yeah, tomorrow. In Sweden. So Ross likes to do a mix with these uh, Swedish, very classical Swedish yellow peas. Yeah. And then some red lentils. Join right? me with some red lentils. So we can make like yeah. a nice dal, which is a very cheap. Yeah, and or, frozen veggies, uh, if there's no good fresh veggies yeah. in season. So it's sort of poor man's protein dose, basically. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yes, that's the plan. Sounds like a really good plan. I'll, I'll come back uh, later to uh, record the sautéing process, perhaps. Okay. Or at least the finished product. <laughs>